Hello everyone, I'm Platinum here, back with another video. Today, it's probably going to be the craziest video I've ever done, and probably one of the longest. This is going to be a tutorial on how to make a three-headed dragon, or like a King Dora mech. It's probably going to take a while, and uh, the wings are going to be the hardest, but uh, we're probably going to be able to do it. So first, we obviously start off with the frame. The frame is usually just a square, so I'm going to make it about eh, that big. And also, scale tool is not needed for this build, but it's just easier to do it scale tool. Now, obviously, King Ghidorah has feet, and his legs aren't too big. So, I'll just not make them that big. And also, we need to do green merging, because it's just going to be easier to paint. Hold on, is that a square? No. It has to be square. That's a rectangle. It's fine though. There we go. Like this. Now King Dora has really big feet. And with his feet, he can he has like really big toe claws. Something in like that. Does he have four of them? I'm actually not too sure, but I'll just do four. I really should have a reference image, but doing it from memory. Um, yes, it's not really centered. Let me just fix up this one. Yes, yeah, better. Okay, so now we have to make the leg movement uh, mechanism with the wheels and stuff. So we get some butter. We put it down there. And then we do this. There we go. That's, that's looking pretty good. So to, d to do the movement mechanism, it's quite easy. I've done it in pretty much every single one of my mech tutorial videos. You have to d put a few blocks across there. But I'd say like two for this size. Also, you can do it how this mech. Uh, you can make however uh, however big you want. You just have to follow. You just have to follow the format. So you can size it up to however you want it can be it can be this tall it can be this tall it doesn't really matter but okay there we go so that's attached and now we get some more butter and we put it like this just to make sure it's firm in place now we can continue with this part of the leg there we go go you'll also be duplicating this leg because making another leg would just be a bit meh it's a bit time wasting okay so there we go so we're also going to detail and fill in the leg just to make it easier so when we duplicate it we don't have to fill it in and paint it over again so that's a pretty good leg size to me now what we do is we fill it in so you just get some concrete or whatever block you want to use and you just fill in the gaps i'll be right back when i'm done filling okay guys so as you can see i have filled uh in king Ghidorah, and we are ready to duplicate i'll also be putting on this because uh, a lot of things have that actually we should probably put it lower down also sorry if i sound tired it's like almost midnight as I'm recording this, so please forgive me. So, to duplicate, we want to save. I'm going to replace the warrior. I'm sorry, buddy. We're going to name it King G, a.k.a. King Dora. Well, okay, to duplicate, if you just get any jet. I'll just be using this because it's faster. You get a chair, 
if you don't have a jet, you can uh, do it the candy way. If you don't have candy, then uh, it, you you if you have jet, you can do it. With, uh, no, you can't. Uh, if you don't have candy, you can do it with thrusters. Like, no, I don't know. You just either have to have candy or a jet. Oh wait, why did I just delete that? So you get a cake. Do this, and then you go up to it, and you make sure that you're up off the ground when you place it. If you don't have uh, a jet, then you just put a bunch of candies, and then you uh, go to where I'm about to go. Uh, if you do, then you do this. Hold on. There we go. Okay, now once you're doing that, now you, you go over here into this area right here, or on the edge right there. And now you load it like this. I'm just gonna turn on install load because it's faster. When it's done loading, you go back. Just like this. Now we have successfully duplicated the leg and we turn that off. Turn that off. No, 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 please, please turn that off. There we go. That was a, that, that could have been a disaster. Now we just have to go back over and line up the legs. So we want a certain length in between our legs. So how I figure out the length, I get a block. I want this to be a two block gap. Is that okay? I'm thinking three. Yeah, three should be good. Make sure you're all lined up. Make sure you're perfect like this. And when it's when it seems cool and you look like you're uh, in the right place, you just put the pull down. Make sure that when you place it, you go off the ground like that. Then it's safe to do that. Then when when you're done all that, you just delete the uh, reference and then you save. So we have to duplicate the legs. Now I think it's time for us to do the body. For the body, uh, actually. Just for some extra detail, I'm gonna make, uh, do this. It's not really much of a difference, but I mean, why not? It's like knees or something. The body's probably one of the easiest parts because, uh, it, I mean, it's pretty much just a square. And boop, there we go, come on, let me get up there real quick. There we go. Now we probably wanna paint him. So I'm thinking this color, no, yeah, this color. You can do whatever color, however, whatever color you want, but I'll just do it this color, because I like it. There we go, cool, cool. I'm just gonna be right back, this is a painting montage. And done, that doesn't, Bruh. <clears throat> okay, that that did not happen at all. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, okay, now uh, it's time to paint. I'm thinking we should do it this color because I have definitely never painted this before, and this is my first time painting this thing. Okay, so we are done painting. Uh, now let's just save. Yeah, that. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm, yep. Okay. There. There we go. Okay, so now we can do the body. The body, we just, it's pretty much just a square. Hold on, let me just get up here. Uh, nope, nope, there, okay, yeah. It's probably one of the easiest bits uh, of this. Pretty much all you do, get a servo, you put it up like that, and you do the other side as well. And boop, is that good? Yeah, that's good. And then you get two butter blocks, you do this. Do this, mm -hmm. and then we make the frame for the body. It's pretty much the legs, uh, except that it's just a body. And make sure these servos are connected as well. There we go. That that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Now, all we need to do is find out the right height of the body then we do a chest 
Mm, yeah. I mean, if this was a bit shorter, I guess it would be cooler. Yeah, that's about good. That's about right. So, uh, you're probably wondering, well, gee, how high is that? Well, let's see. It is... I'm just going to turn on green merging. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 blocks high. You're welcome. So now we just do it on the other side. Oh, what, what was that? Oh, right, that's my particles. There we go. Okay. Oh, wait, no. There. Okay, now we just do it across. Like that. There we go. And let's just recap that height again. Let's get a flagpole. That is the height of one and a half flagpoles. Cool. Okay, that's good. Because, uh, you know, I'm using scale tool. And it's kind of hard to keep up if you don't have scale tool. So, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Build up. And we build across. We have so much head rib to do the heads. But I'm probably going to do the wings first because it's the trickiest part. There we go. Now we just fill it in. Okay, so we have finished Ghidorah's uh, torso. Uh, now we have to move on to the trickiest part, which is the wings. Well, it's not really tricky. It's just hard to... It just takes a while to build, I guess. Because the wings are massive on this beast. Actually, I'm probably going to do the tails first because the tail is really cool. I don't like the tail. Okay, so for the tail, we're going to use servos. You can also use wheels, but I mean, they just take longer. So, for the tail, he has two tails, I think. Yeah. So, you don't need scale tool, but I'm going to just uh, do this because if you have scale tool, this is actually. If you have scale tool, this is actually the fastest way to do it. So if you do have it, I recommend you do it this way. Welp, okay. Uh, I guess not. Guess I'll just have to build it manually. You know, that's... That's fun too. Okay. Bop, bop. Come on. Yeah, that, that, that needs to be bigger. Oh, re oh, really? This, oh, this servo is really annoying. Okay. I guess we'll just use wheels then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like wheels. Okay, let's try the servos just one more time. One more time. Come on, man. I believe in you. <gasps> I have an idea. How about butter? Nothing can stop butter. Never be too safe with butter. There we go. There's no chance of it falling now. Now that I have butter on my side, butter keeps everything in place perfectly. Is that cool? Yes, that's cool. Okay. Butter's amazing and perfect and so cool. Yep. And there we go. Tail, tail, tail. Yep. 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 Come on. And the next one. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now we have to split this into two. Oh boy. So to split this into two, we need some servos on those sides. And we get some metal. And then we get some butter. We just build that. There we go. And then we split it into two. I'm thinking like this. There you go. Yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty nice. If I, don't, if I do say so myself. One across and two like that. There you go. Okay. 
now we just need to do the square bit. Oh well, how howdy there, partner. I'm just, uh, you know, just building a mech to destroy the world. Nothing special. <laughs> Fill this in, and then we do the next thing. And boop. And boop. There we go. It's pretty much just a long process of doing this. I know it's really boring, but it's gonna look fine in the end. And I think Ghidorah has like some sort of spikes at the end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now we just do the next part. So I did the tail and it didn't really come out how I wanted it to. So we're just gonna stick to one tail for now. But if you guys wanna try and do the two tails, that's perfectly fine. But it's kind of hard. Okay, there we go. That should be a good tail. Now, we want the tail to kind of droop down. So just give it that reptilian style. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Now, if you don't have a lot of metal, I suggest doing it this way, making a box. But if you just have a bunch of metal, you just do that. Yep, sure. Yeah, you, you basically do that. And if you do that, it's actually better because it makes the block a lot heavier. And when you whack your opponent, it does so much more damage. So if you don't have enough, if you don't have scaling tool and don't have that much metal, don't do that. If you do have scaling tool and a bunch of metal, then yeah, sure, you can do that. Why not? No. Oh, I fold the butter. Butter is our savior. Butter will save your life, my dude. Your butter is amazing. I don't know how I would build mechs without butter. Why are my ears ringing? Anyways. And yeah. This is a, like a blocky mech. It's like a Roblox kind of character. Because if I w were to do the modeling, like in my croc, but with the head, I do the skeleton outline and then I fill it in. That would take a little bit too long. I mean, if you want to try that, it's it's it's, it's perfectly fine if you do. It's up. It's your it's your mech. You can do whatever you want with the mech. Be creative. You don't have to follow the exact steps I'm doing. You can do whatever you want. Oh, butter! Butter. 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 Yeah. There we go. Now we're gonna make the tail go like this. It's like a moon shape, I think. So now we make the tail go up. And where is the butter? There is the butter. There we go. Yeah, this tail's actually looking not bad. We make the tail go up. One more. Yeah, we need butter too. that then we go like this. yeah that's fine now we get the servo and we do the final touch there we go that is the pretty much the tail now we will give it for a test and add some detail. So, you don't have to add some detail if you want to, if you don't want to, but I probably will. Okay, so I've done the tail. I've added a few spikes and like the little thing at the end. So now we are able to give this a little run, like a test run. So we save. 
and we just get a seat. I'm just gonna put it about there. That's fine. And now we just press, we just place a bunch of buttons and we press them. The reason why I'm testing is that if I made any mistakes or something goes wrong, I am able to fix it. So everything is going fine now. You don't have to test your mech because I'm pretty much testing it. But uh, you can test your mech just in case some, you did something wrong. And no, not that. We need a button. There we go. There we go. No, no, don't fall. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty nervous about the tail, but yeah, there you go. As you can see, we have spotted something wrong. Oh, look, my mech. So, let's fix that. Mm, yep, yeah, just gonna wait for the slide. Just give it a sec. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, what went wrong is the servo is not attached properly. To uh, fix that problem, we put we just we, we basically just put another servo. But above, uh, um, we also put something at the end of the servo just to secure it, like that. Okay, so now that it's secured, we can save, and then hopefully we can make this work. So does it work? Let's see if it does. No, please. Can I? Oh, oh, I already ate it. Okay, that's yeah, that's cool. Get a button. Do this. Do this and do that. There we go. Now the tail is fixed. Hallelujah. Now we should get the seat. Do that. Get a cake, and there we go. So this mech is quite heavy, jeez. Okay, so as you can see, the tail, it, it works fine and all, but uh, the servo is, some of the servos are stiff. We don't really want that, do we? Anyways, uh, the reason why it's kind of tilted over like this is probably because of um, the, the, the 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 chair. So how to fix that? We're also gonna fix the stiff servos. So that's the second and third servo. So now that we know that, we can actually fix it. So let's just replace this servo. So it's this servo, like that, that. We just put something on the end of it. And this servo, there we go. And yeah, that should be fixed. Now, if you don't want it to bend over, you put the seat right now, so that seat isn't tilted or anything. But let's just continue on to the wings. Oh boy, the wings are gonna be a pain. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, how do I get up? You know, I'm just gonna get a jetpack. Yeah, I'm just gonna make it a little easier. Okay, so for the wings, we're gonna need servos. Okay, so whip out your servo and put it. Yeah, there. Okay, so the first rule put down a block. Second rule, put down the blood, the butter. Third rule, make the wing. Now for the wing, I'm imagining it going like, or like that. So I'm thinking we just make it go up by one, once. And then, one, two. Yeah, like that. Now we scale down. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Yes, okay. Now we just do this. Nope, no, not like that. There you go. 
Now, I can't make wings. I'm just trying as hard as I can, okay? So, please, no hate. There you go. So, now we have our little, uh, you know, skeleton, I guess? I don't know. So, to make a proper skeleton, uh, you just have to start, keep going from this place. Cause I'm I'm kind of good at drawing wings, but like I can't can't build wings. Yeah. Now we do it again. Yeah, like this. Okay, cool. Now we just go like this again. Oh gosh, how do we do this? I guess we just go down like this. There we go. It's a bit weird, but I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. Now. Eh, I mean, it doesn't look great. I'm thinking of just removing these two. Like that. Because we don't really need them. And we just do it really weird. <laughs> So we just add one here. Looks weird, but it's uh, it's 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 King Ghidorah 101. Okay. Oh gosh, that looks really bad. Hmm. God, I can't even make wings. I'm really bad at this. Mm. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I'll just go with that. I mean, it, it sucks, but I'll go with it. You know, it's, it's fine. Whatever. Now for the webbing. We just do something like that. Yeah, that's fine. And there we go. Now the big one. There we go. So now we just have to fill it in. At last, I am done. That was painfully long, and that was just took a really long time. But I mean, it looks a lot better now since I filled it in. So now I just need to paint it, I guess. But this is not the end. We still have the second wing okay so we basically have to follow the same rules and do the same exact thing as the first wing except that you this time you actually know what the pain feels like uh... so we get the butter put it on like that get the right measurements for this part of the wing that's not right that's right and now, we will make the first part, and then the second part, and then the third part. So it's just up like this, until we reach the correct part. Uh, 
Oh, he went past it. Let's see. When do we... Oh, no, not like that. When do we actually reach the, the part? Let me see. Let's just measure. When do we need to reach it? Okay. It's not... Oh, man. That's fine, though. So, about here. Okay, cool. Now we can start doing our twos. We also need to set a limit for when we need to stop, and then we start going down. So you stop there. Okay, now we start going down. So it's two and then one. There we go. So we've done that part. And now we do the next part, which is, we basically just do it random, I guess. We don't really need to follow it besides the bottom part. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So let's do seven parts. So, let me just do that. Uh, it's hard to get an angle. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again. And then it's just a two. There we go. So we've done that. Now we ha we just have to do the random, uh, like these bits. Man, this is actually not looking that bad. This is this mech is actually looking pretty good. It might be a success. Okay. Oh no. Just get up there. Hold on. No. There. Okay. Do these parts. So I'm gonna do one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, there we go. Oh. Uh, mm. There we go. That's good. Now the second one, or the third. There we go. And then the fourth one. And it needs to go down more. Just a little bit more. No, not like that. There we go. And then the final one. I think my cat just ran to a wall. Good job. And there. Yeah, that's fine. Now it's time for the webbing and then the painful part. Filling in. Hooray. So we've actually pretty much almost run out of concrete, so I'm just gonna use uh, metal for this one. So it's like that. And it's like that. Then like these. We need that to be, hold on, there. And then the next part. Oh geez, that's a big, jump dang it there oh that looks kind of weird but you know I'll go with it Uh, oh, that's weird. There we go. Now it's time to fill in. Okay, so I have finally finished the second wing. It's looking pretty nice. Uh, it obviously, it took an eternity, 
but I mean, it's worth it. It's really worth it because this wing looks pretty cool. So now, I paint it and then you go on the head. Also, if you've gotten it this far, I can I have to congratulate you because if you're actually following this tutorial, then wow, you have some determination that you haven't quit yet because it's been pretty rough uh, throughout this tutorial. We've uh, gone over many obstacles, including stiff stirrups and falling off parts and all the other stuff. But we have made it through, and the head is probably one of the best parts because uh, that's when you actually get to. I don't know how to explain it. It's like uh, you make a skeleton, kind of like an exoskeleton kind of thing. And then you fill it in. I'll show you guys what I mean after I paint this. We're also gonna do the neck. And there will be three heads because that's just the King Ghidorah way. And I'm soon done. And bang. So we have our two wings. That looks pretty amazing to me. Obviously we save and now it's time. It's about time for the head. Okay, so. The head... I don't think we should make it turn. Because a lot of things went wrong. I actually made another version of this video and it went terribly wrong. I used wheels. You, can got, you guys can use wheels if you want, but I am just not going to use wheels just to be safe so for the head it needs to be in the center that's the center but it's way too small I think I like that size now we do this but as you can see it's literally midnight uh, this build has taken me about one or two hours I'm not too sure it's just taken me a while Oh, okay. So we just make the frame and then we'll fill it in later. Then we do the second part. Actually, we, we won't make, be making the head move, so we can just do one frame. There. That's about the, the, the height of the head, I think. I don't know. Okay, so. For the head, we will be making it like a crocodile head. But I'll be trying, I'll try to make it as much as King Door as I can. So we have to start off with the bottom draw. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 and bang. There we go. That's pretty, it's pretty okay. Now the top jaw be like this. Not like that. There we go. And well, there we go. Now we must do the the bottom bottom jaw. There we go. And now the top of the head. And I usually have trouble with this part, but I think we should be good. Yeah, that's about right. It's like a lizard. I mean, King Dora is a reptile, and Lizard's a reptile, so I don't even know if that's a good thing or not. But, it looks pretty sick. Never mind. I just need some teeth. What can we use as teeth? I think these. These do not make good teeth for this time. Uh, I know, we'll just see how it goes, and we'll decide if it needs teeth or not. 
Nope. Okay, there. There we go. That's pretty nice. Got some neon blocks. Sorry, I just heard a noise outside my window. And now, do these. And we'll paint that the same color, so just so it doesn't look weird. Now we will do a pupil. Like that, there you go. Now we paint it black. There, you don't have to do the people if you don't want to, but I'll just do it because I don't know. Okay, now we do the same thing. Get the neon blocks. Do this. Uh, no, not like that. It's like that, I think. Yes, it's like that. Okay, now we do this and we do the eyebrow thingy, majiggy, and we do the pupil. There we go. That looks pretty cool to me. I don't know about you. And the bottom draw is it's 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 really easy. Just you just yeah, you, you basically just do this. So you basically literally just fill it in. It's it's as easy as that. Just one layer. Yeah, you no know, up and down, you just Oh gosh. Really? I trapped my jetpack. I'm just gonna get out of the way then. There we go. Okay. Go, go done. Okay. It looks really weird for now, but trust me, it'll look better soon. Uh, does it look better with or without the peoples? I think we need smaller ones, maybe like a. Oh gosh, now he just looks shocked. Like, oh my gosh, you stole my cookies? I hate you now. Yeah, that looks better. I think. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide. So, that's the tiniest head ever. I don't really like how it looks, but we'll just, we'll just deal with it. I think when we add the horns, it'll look a lot better. Trust me. There we go. Yep, it's, it's officially midnight now. Hooray! Woohoo! Yay! I swear, after I make this tutorial, I'm going straight to bed. Because I'm getting real tired. Go, just make the neck. And boop. I don't think this is even a tutorial anymore because it's so hard to follow. It's just me building, I guess. There we go. I'll do the other side of the neck. Man, I should dup I should duplicate this. That'd be a really good idea. Hmm. I think I should, but I don't know how. Yeah, I'm probably gonna duplicate it loosen the bottom and then go do the trick and bang okay so we have our neck and our head I'm gonna just fill this in real quick with my trusty concrete okay let's just make him not look like a snake for now that, that don't look right. Uh. 
Hold on, I need. To, I, I just quickly need to see what King Ghidorah looks like. Okay, I officially know what King Ghidorah looks like, and he doesn't look like a snake. He has like a. This guy's kind of like down, and he's a big dragon-like snout. I I can't even fix this at this point. That makes it even worse. Yeah, let's just leave it as it is. Just you know. So the spikes they go like kind of back like that these first spikes there we go and then the second ones go like uh, like that and the third ones go they go kind of out they just go less out there we go that's our King Ghidorah head. It doesn't look the greatest because I can't really make uh, those types of heads. But I mean, it's better than nothing. Do that. And do this. Okay. So, I'm going to paint it, and then I'm going to duplicate it, because duplicating is amazing, and it saves us all. So, let's just start painting. Okay, so this is actually looking a lot better. Now, I'm definitely going to duplicate this head, because I'm not doing the skin. I also placed replaced the pull eyebrows with these, because they look a lot better. Now, it's time to duplicate. So, to duplicate, first we need to save... Then when we saved, we gotta get the original cake and bouncy. This is gonna be a really hard task. We need extreme landing skills to complete this task. We need to be very, very careful with our landing. Okay, the head has been unanchored. Now we get our jet. I'm going to get a, a slow jet. Okay. The head has been detached. We'll now begin the duplicating process. Oh, God. The duplicating process will now begin. Oh. The duplicating process has begun. Insulode. There we go. Head two, coming in. And land. Perfect landing. Oh no. No, please. No. Okay. Okay, now we did that. Now we just need to. Okay, okay, here we go, there we go. So we got our uh, second head. We just need to make it fit, hold on. Just come on, you can fit, no. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's our second head done. Now we just gotta kind of anchor it, hold on. Just. There we go, boom. We got our second head. Hey, that's nice. But uh, it's it's not done yet. We we still need our third head. That 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 would be pretty easy though. So save, boom, dang, this is looking cool. Third head task. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, third head. It's it's the other task. So it's basically the same thing, but with another head. Okay, let's do this. Initiating jet. No, no, no. After this, we will be done our mech. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to be finished this dumb thing. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. There it is. This head will complete the entire build. 
if we get this head on, we get the build done. Now, I won't be landing on it just yet. I'm just gonna do the upwards one. It's just a lot easier. There we go. Precise landing. Bang. Uh. Ah! Okay, that didn't that didn't go as well as I planned. This is gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. So we get behind King Dodora. Get the jet pointed upwards. Bop, bop, bop. No, yeah, yes. Okay, no, 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 yes. Come on, no, no, no. Let me on, let me on. Okay, okay. Carefully back up. Come on, yes, yes. Okay, we're all good. We're good. Now we anchor it. No, come on. Yes. And we are done. Whoa. Save. Oh my goodness. We did it. We made the King Ghidorah mech. Oh my goodness. This is so good. The moment of truth. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Let me just redo that. I need to put the chair on first, remember? Else is going to turn up all weird and stuff. Okay. Let me just get that chair. Let me get that chair. Boom. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's do this. Button time. So put a bunch of buttons to release it. There we go. Oh, wait. I'm just gonna move over there. The tail has successfully been released. The wings. The wings have been successfully released. Now. Oh, hold on. That's not released, though. Now it's time. It's time to do this right. King Ghidorah. Obviously we're, we're leaning a little bit, but that, you know what, I don't even care. What I care about is that we finished our King Ghidorah mech. This guy, look at him, look at him, he can flap, he can wag his tail. Oh my goodness, this thing looks really cool. And his tail just got, wow, okay, let me just, Oh, wow, how did that... Okay, let me just... There we go. Is that... Yeah, that's good. Wow. This is the final product. King Ghidorah Mech. Finally done. Probably the longest part is the wings. If anyone actually followed this tutorial... Congratulations. You have... Been able to watch my video for the entire two hours... Or one, but like, you, you know, my video is obviously not one hour long, but it took probably an hour to build this. I thank you for actually staying with me for this entire build, if you've made this this far. But, I mean, if you if you just skipped to this part because you were lazy and you wanted to see the final product, then sure. Anyways, this is the final product. Wow.